Hello again, everyone. This is Chris Matthew with Forbidden Knowledge News. Are you going to be at the event of 2020? The Laughlin UFO Mega Conference. It's going to be February 15th through 22nd in Laughlin, Nevada. Join me and 30 of the most extraordinary scientists, researchers, and experiencers ever to come together at one event. This is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from some of the brightest minds of our time. Today, I'm very happy to have renowned author, filmmaker, and scholar, Jay Widener. Jay, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to meet you at the conference, and you seem to have a very interesting topic that you're going to be covering, UFOs and cults. Uh, first, tell us just a brief bit about yourself and you know what got you started with your research, and then tell us what got you interested in the UFO and cult phenomenon. Well, I, I mean, I started out as a person who... Um was uh, try, trying to disprove uh, alchemy as an ancient art form and uh, got, of course, uh, I went out to debunk alchemy and alchemy debunked me, I guess. And uh, so then I had my change around as to my point of view of the world. And so as I went on and on, you know, I got interested in, I guess, how UFOs and alchemy are intermixed. And... Um, that helped me advance my own view of what UFOs really are. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not saying that I, that there aren't aliens. Uh, I'm sure there are, I'm sure there's many races all over the galaxy, but I'm, I have a good, kind of a different view on what UFOs are. I think they're, um, they're, uh, um, plasma, plasma beings, uh, that uh, can cause, uh, multi-dimensional states if you get close to them um, we know that uh, high, 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 high power high amounts of electricity can cause terrors in the time-space continuum and Tesla knew about this and a lot of other people have known about it and uh, so I think that uh, what we're dealing with is a, is a earthly phenomena that causes um, inter interdimensional experiences and uh, that are very similar to each other. So the you kind of, everybody goes to the same place. But um, <clears throat> what I really got interested in while I was doing this because of my own personal experiences is how, because of the ambivalent nature of UFOs and because nobody can really know what they really are uh, for the most part. And there's a lot of disinformation agents going on around the world because they're trying to hide the secret space program also. And so they're also trying to paint that as aliens and, and other worldly objects when they're really ours. So there's a lot, a lot of uh, chess playing going on. But one of the things that happened is there's certain kinds of, I don't know what you call them. Uh, I don't like, well, I don't know. I don't really have a name for them. We'll just call them certain kinds of people have seen the ambivalent nature of UFOs and then created a narrative that for the most part is false almost every time uh, around this of uh, the otherworldly nature of UFOs uh, attracts in, of course, people who are alienated looking for f family and friends and can't find any and brings them in <coughs> and creates this cult where they adore the main channel um, and uh, you know worship them uh, even to the point like the heaven's gate cult of everyone uh, believing that if they committed suicide they would ascend and the ascension by the way is another uh, uh, one of the fingerprints for finding out if you're dealing with a ufo cult is they always t talk about ascension that we're ascending somewhere uh, they're never really very clear but it's kind of like a, the christian rapture wrapped up in ufo Ology, which I find interesting how every single cult has this kind of ascension narrative. And so um, we have recent cults that have used UFO uh, also. Uh, we have a president of the United States whose mom was in a, a ufology cult, um, believe it or not. And, um, and I'm talking a very recent president. Uh, uh, and, and, and he is the I will show you evidence that he is that uh, this recent president is actually the son of this man who had an experience with a UFO and started a cult to which his mother joined uh, the incredible story and, um, and how these um, 
go back in time. So we look at uh, Akhenaten. Akhenaten is walking down the Nile one day, and he looks up and he sees this cloudy white thing floating in the sky, and then he has an interaction with it. And the next thing you know, he's starting his own religion, uh, a religion of ascension, by the way, into the sun, uh, against the, you know, the Setis who were there before. And it's a huge slaughter, right? And it was all because of his interaction with the UFO. And today the real, <clears throat> the real danger is social media. That's why I'm doing this, because social media has now opened up the doors to hundreds of cults. Uh, uh, where uh, one guy can have 20 or 30 people that they've never met, only on social media, and, and these people are giving all their money, all their time and energy to these cults, and there, there, there are so many of them. And I think it's like because of the alienation everyone's facing now, because um, it's so difficult for people to get together and have fun, and, and we're all locked on to social media. It is fertile ground for young minds and, and alienated people to be sucked into these cults. And there's so many now that it's breathtaking. And you know, UFOlogy is like one of the top ways of attracting people into your cult. And uh, so-called communication with other alien races and, and downloads. And, you know, I don't know if any of it's true or not, but I just know that over and over we see the same game being played. And I think that it's really up to us to police our community and don't hire police, but just do it ourselves by talking about this very serious stuff. And uh, uh, we're watching a kind of a, a mind control. I believe going on and uh, it's a way to penetrate into a community that was actually trying to look at something in a, in a, in a, a way that would reveal itself to us. And we argue with like, each other and have lots of disagreements and we always will, but we never had this thing there. We can't prove it. It's just, Oh yeah, he said that. And, and we can't prove it. And uh, none of the cults agree with each other. So somebody has to be wrong here. And so, you know, it's like, we have to kind of like say, no, let's stop the nonsense. If you guys want to go do that, go do that, but don't come to our conferences and everything and, 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 and tell us that, you know, your, what you're saying is 100% right and what we're saying is 100% wrong is kind of almost religious attitude. And that's another thing there. And so even like cults are created everywhere nowadays. It's not just ufology. It's in politics. It's uh, climate change has now become a cult uh, where, people, where you, you argue with someone about climate change. They start saying you're a heretic. You know, they use religious terms to describe, you know, your heresy. So it's not just, it's everywhere. But I want to send around ufology because that's the one that uh is actually could ruin our community you're right um you know before the advent of the internet cults were usually a localized thing where you know you'd have this isolated compound or something like that where everyone would commune and now it can be a global phenomenon where everybody can form an online group and it in it, it the reach is so far now and it can become a very dangerous thing I'm afraid it's going to, and I, 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 I don't know if the FBI is looking into this. I, I kind of, I'm pretty much against the police state in any way, shape, or form, but dang, I think you guys need to open up the hood and look under this thing because, you know, there's some, from what I've seen, there's some, there's some serious uh, stuff going on right now, <clears throat> and up to the point of people actually literally committing suicide um, by being driven crazy by these crazy cults, and uh uh, and it's religion. What's, and what's interesting is we've removed religion from our society uh, almost completely now. You know, it's never talked about really on TV shows or movies or anything. And that's fine. I don't really care. I'm not a religious person myself, although I do believe in a higher uh, divine being. But um, uh, but you can see the human mind needs religion so much, and we do. We need that sense of community that you find through a shared belief that it can be so easily manipulated. And, and I think that's where we are right now. The void is being filled by all of these cults. Definitely. Uh, Jay, thank you so much for taking the time today. And I really can't wait to meet you at the conference. And I look forward to your presentation. I look forward to meeting you too. This is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from some of the brightest minds of our time, over 30 of them with eight of them coming in from outside of the United States. 
This is also going to be the world's lowest cost convention. The only purpose is to disclose some of the truths of our mysterious existence. Go to LaughlinUFOMegaConference.com right now to ensure you get your early discount package prices. You don't want to miss this amazing event.